Perhaps I should feel some twinge of guilt at all I have done, but I've had little time for scruples. It was once an honor to be entombed within these ancient catacombs, but centuries have passed, and now only the brave or foolhardy walk these tunnels. Perhaps I'm the last living soul here, although I'm far from alone. This is not my story, although I am the architect of what transpires. A conspirator in the ruination that threatens the heretic kingdoms. And the most unlikely of alliances that might yet save us all. And Mars Inca Serra Dilbarana! Thou summons me. What is thy pact? I seek only that we shall both survive. Thou hast a liar's tongue and cannot be trusted. I do not ask you to trust me, nor should you. I would betray you without hesitation, if I deemed it necessary. But we are fortunate, you and I. We have the same enemies. Our only hope lies in partnership, which is precisely why I have summoned you here, demon. You were summoned without a pact, so whichever soul you devour will now bind you to a path beyond anyone's control. Choose wisely, demon. Kali. They called him the Bandit King, a warrior and a mercenary. He led the Guild of Steel in foe. Sadly for Kalig, he trusted his own son a little more than he could afford. Some called him a barbarian, but few lived who did so. Choose Kalig if you wish the might and fortitude of a great warrior. Jaska, the wild boar. A great hero in our native land of Corwin. He fell in battle over a decade ago in the Accession Wars against the wolf tribes of Tenuria. A hunter, a loner, and an unparalleled archer. He also dabbled in the skills of an undead slaver. Choose Jaska if you wish the mobility and deadly aim of one of the greatest archers I have ever known. Evia, the daughter of fire a princess of the Imperial Gerulian Empire. 
She would have been God Empress if she had not rebelled. She died on the Reliquary Crusade three centuries ago. I don't know how. A mage with incredible potential. She had not only harnessed the elemental power of flame, but also learned the mysterious ways of the Sand Mage. Choose Evia if you wish to harness the arcane powers of a mage. Kalig. Think sadly for some call. Choose Kalig if you wish the might and fortitude of a great warrior. My own son, a traitor. Nemec! I shall have my vengeance. I require thy soul. Thou hast no further need of it. That soul is mine now! The agony is unbearable! Curse you, demon! Very well, the die is cast. I live? In a sense, you and the demon are one now. In truth, I do not know what that will mean. Thy soul is mine to command. You overrate your powers, demon, and underestimate Kalix. Your fate and his are now bound together, as is my own. Now make haste to the city of Thal that lies above this crypt. A cenotaph can transport you there. Our fates are bound together, demon. Either we shall find a way to survive together, or we shall both surely perish. Thou threatens me? No. Something far more dangerous than I threatens us all. Join me in the Tholian Arcanum as soon as you can. We have much to discuss. to me, demon. Thou art returned from death to do my bidding. No demon commands me. Thou art mistaken.
This could be useful, I guess. Thou art already dead. This one's mine, leave him to me. me now. Do I have to do everything myself? Leave it to me. I'll finish what you started. Thou shalt know despair. must be the cenotaph the hooded man spoke of. Its power reaches shadow. There is much I might do here. This cenotaph is erected upon the graves of many dead mortals. It shall be easy to gate weave back to this place should I find another such monument. And I sense a gate here already. The hooded man's work may happen. It must be the way out he mentioned.
shalt face me now. Pathetic! I shall handle this myself. Order me, demon. You're in my town now. Thole, the city of outcast. We must find my son. I have unfinished business with Nemec. Perched atop an ancient stone plateau, amidst the red sands of the outlands, lies the city of Thol. Centuries ago, it was a major garrison for the Gerulian Empire, and there may even have been a settlement prior to this era. These days, Thol is a city of thieves and outcasts. Fugitives of all kinds come here to avoid complications in neighboring nations. Not everyone in Thole has a price upon his head, but no one who dwells here is innocent. The Guild of Steel like to call themselves mercenaries, protecting the few caravans that ply their trade across the desert. Yet those that do not pay for their protection find the Guild equally adept at brigandage. The Guild of Silk call themselves merchants and do indeed sell all manner of goods and trinkets. Though it is best not to ask them from whence they came. A vast stone gate is all that remains of the Barbican that once defended these walls. Now, it guards the city of Thole once more from the horde of nomads that besiege it. For three years, I have been hiding here amid the detritus of the heretic kingdoms. But it is only a matter of time before my former allies locate me. And I am running out of places to hide. My hometown. I'll do the talking here. Do not need yours or anyone else's permission to return to my city, Duke. Kalik! I thought you were... Um... Dead? What can I say? I got better. You should not have come back. Nemec commands the Guild of Steel now. My son and I have much to... discuss. Do not bring fighting onto my streets, or there will be consequences. It is bad enough that we are besieged, without civil war breaking out inside the walls. We're under attack? Aye. Nomads under the command of some Taimurian exile. But the city has stood for centuries, and it will not fall under my watch. I'll be keeping an eye on you, Kalig. What an honor. Te ma al ortas. I'm coming, Nemec. Papa's home. <laughs> 